Hello and welcome back to episode 25 of our Oxygen Not Included Let's Play. And there are a few little housekeeping things I need to do. One is uh, kicking this can down the road just a little bit further with another liquid reservoir. Make this out of iron, why not? And plumbing, liquid pipe, igneous rock is fine. Perfect. That'll give us a little bit more storage for our wastewater. We still have plenty of water to go through up here. And we're now having some CO2 flow down here. We can improve that rate by widening this just a little bit. And that should help get some of the CO2 to come down here and fill up this area and uh, let the oxygen layer in our base settle a little bit further down. Not that it's hugely important. We have plenty of oxygen up here, but uh, yeah, getting the getting all the CO2 settled in our base is going to be nice. And we're looking for slicksters. Ideally, that's where we want to put all the CO2. And have not really found much luck here in accomplishing that. Yeah, this should improve things quite a bit. Just need to get rid of this one basically. And uh, while we're at it, let's take out that as well. Okay, so, this can is being kicked down the road, yep, this is slowly draining, perfect, huh, so we want to try and find ourselves some slicksters, which means we just want to send some people down here just to investigate a little bit. Scout out, see what we have down here. Jumping Joya. Interesting. We want to find these slicksters. Somewhere. I'm confident they're here. What do we have? Vending machine, table, light fixture, automation wire and switches. No slicksters. Hmm. Maybe we find something over here. Might be worthwhile to just have them dig out a little bit over here. Oxygen situation still not great for these guys. This is about all that we have going for them at the moment. There's not a lot. I mean, this is going to be a very inefficient process. We could set up just a little bit of oxygen. Ooh. This is Joya Seed. And no slicksters, right? This is just a strangely colored patch of crude oil. Okay. Huh. Any slicksters at all? Ooh, there's uh, something down here that could be useful. Probably some sort of volcano. It's often what I found in these lower spots. Hmm. <laughs> well, we might just not have access to any easy slicksters this game. That could be the truth of it. I don't see where else we can really easily reach that they would be. Maybe in this area over here. It doesn't look like we're running into anything here. I could explore down a little bit this way. But it's possible this is just going to have to be our uh, our CO2 room for now. It's got a lot of space to take in stuff, so it should be fine. That is a little bit disappointing, not finding any of the slicksters. Presumably they're still alive. Some maps I think they start out extinct, which is really rough. So they're probably just a little bit deeper down. Is there any oxygen for us to break into here? There's some here. We we'll probably just need to make some sort of little oxygen generation setup. And if there's no slicksters, then uh, setting up some algae terrariums down here wouldn't be that bad of an idea. I do want to get access to some diamond as well. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, we need to set up plastic somewhere. 
either of these locations would probably be fine. I think I'm leaning towards here because we'll need a lot of coolant, which we will we will have if we settle here. But uh, no, no slicksters. Okay, let's just let things run. We might scout things out a little bit further, see if we can find somewhere else. Um, but as long as we're just getting sort of the CO2 level to, to fall a little bit, I think we'll be fine. All right, so what do we want to do over here? I think it would not be unreasonable to uh, just pump some of this back up here. And maybe set up some uh, coal generators, like on this side. That way we can have some progress with these metal refineries. Might as well keep them working, I suppose, while we have the, uh, the coolant to do so. This comes online in three cycles, so we'll see how much we have to work with then. And uh, in the meantime, maybe let's just grab a ladder. Granite's fine. build up something like this. We can set up some tile down here. Yeah, this will work fine. Like so. Dig out that and uh, we can just loop some of this coolant back up to here. At this temperature, maybe that's worth doing. Either way, I want to have this little access area, just in case we need it. Right now we have it just pumping down into here, which is fine. It's possible we want to loop some back up here. New duplicates available. What do we got? Nope. Back to goo you go. They're digging. They're still not finding anything. Anytime we see CO2, we pretty much are sure there's no slicksters. So slicksters would eat that CO2. Oh, man. Uh, hmm. Lindsay has mastered the scientist job. Let's put her on something else. Tenured scientist? She's a little bit of ways away from that. Let's just go with courier. Seems solid. Oh, speaking of which, we need to decide who we are putting in this neural vacillator. Let's go to priorities. Stinky looks pretty good. He's our, uh, our miner at the moment. Bert, our builder. Nisbet, our original scientist. The OG. Hmm. We could just take someone new, though, and throw them in there. I wouldn't mind that as well. But uh, I think we're going to throw Nisbet in there. Nisbet, get in there. Yeah, no luck. Sc suffocating. Ah, I see. I did not think about that. Will she make it? She will. All right. Yeah, I should have finished that sooner. So she has regeneration, which is pretty useless. Probably wanted to put that on Stinky, but this is fine. 
Okay, so we are still struggling. Let's just take pause. Let's let's take stock of where we're at. Maybe we're just focusing on trying to find these slicksters a little bit too hard. It's not super critical. We do have a way that we can do plastic. So, we're at cycle 100. We have a metal refinery operation up and going. We've tapped into a natural gas geyser. We have two cool slush geysers about to come online. This one in 2.6 cycles and this one in 10.6 cycles. We have a capped cool steam vent with a little oxygen generation set up. Just enough to pr produce oxygen for this working area that we have down here. We've got farms, plenty of food. We're largely trying to operate off of sleet wheat that is being grown sort of in the wild over here. Um, we have our lavatory system not quite closed looped yet. Uh, we're mainly just kicking the can down the road and eventually the plan is just to take all of this water, some of which has germs in it, and subject it to this chlorine here and disinfect it all. That way we can uh, pump it back into some sort of reservoir, which we'll probably just set up right here. Plenty of oxygen coming off of these algae terrariums. Uh, basically, they've created a ton of polluted water at this point, and that polluted water is emitting oxygen that these deodorizers are then going to uh, turn into regular oxygen. Got a good amount of our thermal shield up over here. We have areas set up for our critter ranches, which have cooled down to a point where I think we can start shoving stuff in here and not have to worry about cooling anymore. This is defunct and needs to go. We've got a bedroom. We have no decorations, which is causing a little bit of stress problems in some people, but because we're working off of frost buns as most of their diet, it's not been that hard. We have not found any slicksters, unfortunately. We have found some good points to dig into and, and get some oil. This one will work just fine. We can actually build everything pretty much right up here uh, in terms of our pumps and whatnot, and then just break down here and the oil will bubble up because of the pressure that it's under right now. Anything else of note at cycle 100? I think that's pretty much it. Our great hall, our pantry, our farms. I think if we're not going to find slicksters, we want to just focus on getting our plastics operation up and running, which means I think building something around here. It doesn't have to be huge could really just be one plastic press because I don't have an immediate need for plastic but that's more or less the next tech step that we want to go on I think while we just kind of scout around a little bit and look for maybe a little bit better of a spot because I'm still holding out for some sort of slickster habitat to dig into um, let's work on getting a hatch ranch up and going we have a rancher we have someone who's ranch capable let's work on that okay Back to work. So, ranching. Pretty simple. Um, this is the setup of my ranch. We check it out as a, as a room. 96 tiles, uh, because I added this little bump here. Which is going to be enough to house a decent number of hatches. We have some hatch eggs. We have places we can pick up hatches, like right here. We're pretty good for that. So. Let's go and set up our stations for this. We are going to want a grooming station. We'll make it out of iron. We are going to want a critter drop-off. We'll also make out of iron. Uh, and then we are going to want a couple critter feeders. There we go. Damage overheated is the security door. Jobs mastered is Nisbet. Because she's so smart. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's have you do some mining work now that you have the generation. So we're going to set up this ranch. You don't need much to make it work. We have our grooming station, critter drop off. The critters are going to be hatches, hatchlings. And that's all we have for now. Uh, let's say that we have a maximum of five critters in here. Uh, we'll also say that we can auto rank in surplus. And for our patches, let's feed them with some sedimentary rock. 
Sounds good. Get this one finished. Okay, and any uh, stone hatches that we get will also feed sedimentary rock. All right, and this one hatches hatchlings, sedimentary rock. Perfect. Okay, where are my hatches? Where are my hatches at? Wrangle this boy. Wrangle this one. Wrangle this one. Wrangle this one. And... Wrangle this one. Alright. That'll set us up for that. And then we want to go through and deconstruct this. And we can build another hatch ranch up there. Same setup. Grooming station. Make it out of iron, that's fine. Uh, food. Critter drop off. Right here. Critter feeders. Here. And here. And let's take these wheeze warts and stick them in useful locations. don't think we need to cool down this area. I think once these come online, we'll be good. So I think we want to focus a little bit on here. That would be fine. We could also change around our oxygen setup here. I would not be averse to that. Uh, for the time being, though, let's hold off. And instead... Yeah, we're just going to build... Some flower pots up here. Hmm, do I care about the core? Probably not. Actually, why not? We'll just stick a lot of them over here. One here. Uh, one here. One here. Perfect. Just distribute them around the base. Oops. We wanted a deodorizer here. Alright. Auto wrangle surplus. Copy settings. Copy settings. Copy settings. Filter's not de designated. Stone hatches. Stone hatchlings. Sedimentary rock. Stone hatchlings. Sedimentary rock. Copy settings. Copy. Copy settings. Copy. Perfect. This is set to 5 with auto-wrangle surplus. Alright. Now let's also, while we're here, set up these gas reservoirs. Perfect. Plant a wart seed. Plant a wart seed. Plant a wart seed. Perfect. Alright. So we've got this all set up, got our rancher working. Gonna groom these hatches and uh, generate some food for us ultimately. And some coal, which will be useful for our power situation. This is slowly starting to fill up with CO2. Oxygen layer is starting to come down a little bit. Yeah, this is fine. All right, let's take out this and uh, deconstruct this. Looks good. And now we have both our ranches up and running. 
and we are good to go. We'll eventually come in here, kill these, take eggs, stuff like that. But uh, just getting those online for now. Okay, so. Whew. What else do we need to do? Job mastered. Is that an old message? Looks like it. Research wise, we are done with everything that we can do. Oops, switch to solid cargo. Almost done with everything we can do. And I think we are going to crack some eggs. We're going to set up a, an egg cracker here. Iron's fine. And make ourselves some omelets every once in a while. Okay, so. I think we're fine leaving this powered off. We still want to ask ourselves the question, where are we going to get our oil for plastics? What is the long-term solution for our CO2? Well, I think one of the next things we want to do is just explore a little bit more. See if we can't find some more things on the map that are useful. Am I... Ooh, we do... I remember we do have a... Another vent to check out. So that might be useful to go after. But I think for now I just want to scout out the rest of this, and uh, I think I just want to tap into this polluted oxygen over here. I don't see any germs. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but let's see if we can't dig through here. And generate a little bit of oxygen for our guys to work down here. And then we'll explore out this way and see if we can find anything more useful. We'll have a better idea of what we want to do with this anti-entropy thermal nullifier once we've figured out what's around it. This water is at an okay temperature right now. So I think we'll be good. Let's just dig out some of this stuff. Alright, sounds like a plan. Have our hatch ranch up and going. We will uh, crack a couple of these. We're actually going to crack all four. And... Good to go. Okay. Yeah. Let's dig out here. See if we can't get some... Uh, some oxygen to work with as we do so. This is, these are awkward temperatures, actually. This is not so great for us. So maybe we want to, uh, I guess it will even out. Let's get some ladder. Hmm. Nullifier kind of messes with that. Dig out across here as well. Of this, I suppose, and get ourselves some scaffolding to move across. Flooding of the anti entropy no thermal nullifier, that's not really news. How are we doing? Doing great. Okay. Stress is coming down now that we've switched people to a nicer diet. This is pretty cold water. Um, so we kind of want to 
have scaffolding across here as well. And maybe just dig out some of this area, that way the, the water settles. Hypothermia. Alright, well that was to be expected as you relaxed in the water there. Deconstruct this. Let's assign you there to recover. Let's dig up this as well. Alright. Explore out this direction. point. Stinky as hypothermia as well. Off you go, Stinky. Let's work on getting a little bit of oxygen in here. More scaffolding, which I suppose we make out of igneous rock. That might be a little bit faster. Something like this looks fine. How are we doing over here? Idle, wild, happy. Ooh, new duplicates. Diver's lungs, perfect. Max, welcome aboard. What do you do, Max? I don't even care. Max, we're going to start you off as a gopher. Because that's a pretty useful role. And... What was I... I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. Omelets. Let's make... Let's make some omelets. And let's go to priorities, and we have someone who is capable of branching, right? Let's go to our jobs. Jean. Jean is our rancher. Okay. Jean, we are going to say that your priorities for ranching are quite high. So I want you doing that pretty much any time you can. That's a really inefficient way to build that stinky. I'm just saying. Maybe you could have thought of something better. Alright. So we've cracked into some oxygen here, so our guys can, can work down here. 
and not suffocate. And we're still going to be on the hunt for a good place to dump our CO2. Somewhere with slicksters, ideally. How are the oxygen levels? They're coming down a little bit. For their, uh, the oxygen layer is descending a little bit. That should be good enough. Any neutronium over here? Wow, another cold biome. It's basically just been cold biomes right on top of all these oil fossil biomes. I'm fine with that. Okay, and we have our cool slush geyser producing. Awesome. I'm thinking maybe we just want to pump out this water back up to here. We do want this water to stay at above freezing. And managing that is going to be important. It's effectively what we're going to do with deciding when these pumps turn on or not. It is uh, it's going to be based off the temperature of this water. We also might need to consider walling this up at some point. Is a possibility. Alright, back to this. In fact, let's actually just cap the episode here. We've got our exploration underway. The cool slush geysers just started. We're at a pretty good point for uh, cycle 103. I think I'm happy with, with where we're at. So I'm going to cut things here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.